Hello. This is Smoke Slow again. I'm uh, letting you know more about what I know about the uh, magnetics and uh, phase shifting. Okay. Uh, as far as UFO propulsion systems go. Okay. First of all, uh, guitars and amps, believe it or not, guitar, guitars and amplifiers in the early 60s when I started playing had knobs and switches on them that would throw the phase of the pickups on the guitar against one another or, you know, away from one another. I had one guitar that was a Gibson L6S with a six position switch on it and a couple other knobs but this six position switch okay basically what you have is two uh, rec uh, rectangular pickups with two magnets in each pickup okay now this was it this six position switch was able to throw the phase of the two magnets in each underneath, underneath each pickup cover against one another or you know uh, away from one another or it could do just it could split them it could split the pickups and make them want to come together or push apart okay or take the outer uh, magnets it's basically it's basically like two fingers two bar pickup uh, magnets underneath the cover about the size of a pack of cigarettes okay and you had two basically a little skinnier than a pack of cigarettes you had two of these sitting underneath the strings of the uh, guitar now stick with me this the this switch was able to throw things out of phase in phase and for instance like um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard that song by the uh, Beatles where it starts out with a long like hum it's uh, uh, I forget the name of the song I feel fine by the Beatles it starts out um, Anyway, what that was was the guitar being laid against the front of the amp, and here we got magnetic power and the amplifier power, okay, is pulling on the magnets, and now you got to throw in the speakers of the. Uh, the amplifier that put out the sound, okay, creating uh, basically a, uh, a phase. It's its own. Its own like uh, if you want to take it, uh, uh, you could take it in the area of uh, uh, its own gravity field, okay, and it was just whacking out the magnets, okay. Also, I don't know if you've ever seen bands on shows and stuff like that where they got a lot of little boxes uh, sitting on the floor, effects boxes uh, is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for that, I just had something pop up. Uh, but they, what they do is also whack, uh, whack the magnets, uh, you know, on the guitars and it on the amp, you know, and also there's magnets in some of them <coughs> and they cause this phase shifting okay, which Bob Lazar talks about okay, now I can tell you right now, I was in the, uh, I worked for the army over in New Jersey okay, uh, even before Bob Lazar popped up, I was, I was there be very early 80s, like I started there, you know, middle of 1980, 
and uh, I was a, a supply specialist, okay, with uh, very high clearance, and they would send over these uh, these blocks of rectangular uh, hollow steel that were called wave guides. They'd be in the funniest shapes. They'd only be as long as from your elbow to your wrist, and one of them. Uh, just for the heck of it, I looked at the price of one of them because uh, they were being shipped to uh, la, another place in the state. Seventeen thousand five hundred dollars for a piece of hollowed out rectangular aluminum. I guess that's what they were using uh, uh, to uh, actually bend. Uh, you know, uh, I guess microwaves. I don't know. Uh, but they were uh, waveguides, okay, that's what they were called, waveguides, and so many of them, they just, just wasted, they were just unbelievable, uh, okay, also, uh, uh, what was I going to say, well, uh, what I'm saying is Bob Lazar is on the right track. I'm not sure if he's right as far as that element 115, which is off the uh, scale. Uh, well, now I heard it's on the, uh, you know, the scale of uh, elements in the, you know, in the world. Uh, I know before, supposedly before that 115, that he talks about this antimatter or whatever that uh, is basically the fuel for this uh, propulsion system on the uh, UFOs uh, came about. Our scale only went up to the 90s or whatever, and then it all was, or it was either the 90s, uh, I've heard two reports. One was the 90s, and one was uh, 110. Then it jumped all of a sudden to 115. And all, all of a sudden, too, is that uh, that 115 couldn't be messed with because it became very erratic and uh, uh, very uh, unreliable. Uh, also, too, let me squeeze in here before I have to get up. Uh, is the, if anybody's ever seen a UFO, and I've seen pictures of them on TV and stuff, how they pulse through the air, uh, you'll get the you get the same kind of effect if you watch the strings on a guitar. Uh, electric guitar that's had the uh, magnet, uh, magnets in phase or out of phase and, and, and how much you're doing it by uh, you'll get a, a wobble in the strings you know a, a buzzing sound uh, uh, trust me I've owned a little over 130 guitars uh, it's a, another story but anyway you get a, 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 a either a short a short vibration wobble you uh, like you know a tight spring that's wobbling, or you'll get even though the spring is uh, this still tight, you'll get like a long wobble on on the strings, and also that can be reversed, okay, by uh, using the switches on the guitar and the amp, especially guitar though if if, if it has it. Uh, your amps come with uh, certain things called too, like uh, a harmonic clipper, selective boost, okay, uh, so, uh, and then you got override switches that even go above. They like overamp your amplifier and just fire off a lot of uh, magnetism to the uh, magnets in the uh, in the uh, guitars, and the, the, you got you to watch the funny things that go on with the. Uh, the strings and stuff, uh, but keep that in mind also with your uh, the way that, uh, you've seen UFOs kind of pulse through the air, okay, uh, and keep that in mind with the guitar strings and stuff. It's almost all there. If that uh, that element one one fifteen is the uh, fuel for this uh, you know system. Then uh, it's all there. It's it's definitely all there. Uh, take it from me. Uh, but you know, Bob Lazar is on the right track. I'm just uh, I gotta sign off right now. Okay, smoke slow, and I'll get back.